Now this is a restaurant. Another one is a restaurant. Now that is a shop over there. That one is a restaurant. Here is a stall market. You see the people that are passing there. <laughs> Did you see that? Natkunda Daphne Wai Wai. Natkunda Daphne Wai Wai. Angu Malunji. She has cute names. Her name is Natkunda Daphne Wai Wai. Um, hi guys, welcome to Nalongo Letisha YouTube channel. Hey guys, today my face is shining. Ah, it's like the sun is coming from here and it goes to the rest of the world. Hey, see my face. It is shining. I don't know if I applied too much oil. I don't know if this is oil or this is the glow. <laughs> One of the two. So you will be letting me know. So guys, today... I'm going somewhere, I'm carrying my little bag, but as I'm going somewhere, I want to take you around in my village, just to show you around my village and to show you how it looks like. It is really so beautiful. You're going to see it. Hmm? It's my African village, 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 village. Like I just felt like giving you a tour. However, I have never, I had never given you. I am with my uh here she is the son to my she's the she's the daughter to my auntie come let's go we are going together but for her she's going somewhere else so guys i'm going to be giving you a tour of my village this one is our garden here we have our cassava over there and this one is our sweet potato these are sweet potato plants I think you have ever seen those ones. The, the ones who are Ugandans, please interpret for people. Yeah. So guys, I am going to be taking you around my village. You're just going to be seeing. And the economic activity that carries place in this place is fishing mostly because we are near the lake. I have already showed you the lake. Like we have gone there for several times. So you people, you already know, right? You already know the lake part. So because we are near the lake, the economic activity that takes place here is mostly fishing. However, we still have other, other economic activities that still go on like, uh, hello, we have to eat. We have a market, we have fish, we have restaurant, we have a lot. But mostly people do uh, fishing and then they take to the rest of the village or to the rest of Ugandan parts. Though here we do not have so much fish. However, we are on, uh, on, on Lake Victoria. Yeah, but this, this place, my, my village, it's on a peninsula. Yeah, it's kind of carved like this. So this is just one little part of Lake Victoria where we are staying. Yeah. It when when you see how it builds itself, it's more like an island, but it is not an island. It's a village in here. And guys, we are here in Entebbe for those who don't know. Uh maybe you are not aware of that or this is your first time on Nalongo Letitia YouTube channel. We are in Entebbe, yeah, I am staying in Entebbe and that is where I am located it and my village is in Entebbe. So if you would want to visit Entebbe around, take you around places, I'm here, your village girl. Mm? So today I'm going somewhere and I'm just wanting to give you a tour of my village. And however, here on my village, we have so many people that are planting oranges. And these bananas, banana plants, it's because pan banana is our staple food. As you're watching this video, eh, be ready to see so many banana plants. A lot of them. Because here in central Uganda, if there is no banana, there is no us. Like we are out. You understand? Everywhere there is banana because we eat matoke so much. This is matoke. Guys, somebody washed the clothes and they put them down here like this. It's displayed on the sun. 
did not use the anger. You might ask me, but are they going to get infected and all of that and blah 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 and the germs? No, there is nothing like germs that is going to go onto those clothes. Even me up to now, I still lay down my clothes when we are here in the village. I also still lay down my clothes. So we do not have to worry so much about that. The only thing we don't do are the clothes for the babies, like newborns from around one, one day to around six months. We do not lay them down because for the babies, whichever where they are coming from, it is always, they are always uh, having a sensitive skin and everything about them is so sensitive. So if you don't be that much careful, they might get infected. Those are the only clothes that we put, but the rest, we put them down, like nothing happens. It is still healthy. We do not have to worry. Like I had said, I'm taking you around my village. This is my village. And like I told you, because this is a peninsula, it goes round, round. And this is where I'm coming from. It still goes around like this. <laughs> It's, it, it's, it, it kind of, not exactly, but kind of creates an island. However, it's not an island. It's not. But it, it makes a curve, eh? That curve. I, I do not have a drone. <laughs> Guys, I do not have a drone. I would have showed it to you i would have given you the area of view you know the real area of view but i can't because i don't have a drone but if i had one i would drive it eh? and then i show you exactly what i'm talking about and it is beautiful it is super super beautiful if you see it it creates a beautiful curve eh? the village itself and this one you see the people that are passing by. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Ah, I'm using a GoPro and the GoPro doesn't zoom. I would zoom it for you. Did you see those people that were passing? Yeah, it's because this is a village. So they have to take things and they still have to go. So that's why they carry themselves along. Oh gosh. But anyway, you do not have to worry. Like I was saying, I wish I had... I was saying, I wish I had uh, a drone. I would have showed you exactly what I'm saying. But because I do not have a drone, there is nothing. I mean, there is... I don't know, there is no way for me to show you what I'm talking about. And this, there is a road that leads you to a lake somewhere there i don't know if i should take you there let me do let me do let me do let me do let me take you there like i said we are walking around my beautiful village all of these are trees like i am in a real village let me spin around you see Nobody's around me. No one. And I'm taking you to where the lake is. However, if, even the other side, where I am coming from, it is also still a lake. This is another curve that still leads you to a lake. There, there, there are so many routes eh, that takes you to a lake. Also this way. Let me take you there. The thing is, I am this way alone. People are like, someone might want interactions and all of that. No, here there is not so much. And uh, the thing is, the problem is GoPro doesn't zoom. But uh, I already see fishermen on the lake. This is the lake that you people are looking at over there that's the lake it's not showing so much like it is sh showing you less 
than what I'm seeing because I feel like I'm seeing too much and I feel like the camera is not doing me any justice I don't know if now you can see anything and people have harvested cassava that one it is cassava the lake is here guys if you would want to have plots for buying you can come here because like you you have seen I am surrounded by the by the bush and here the plots are cheaper if you would want to buy any land land is cheaper this way because it's not a town there is nothing like people are fighting for this people are fighting for that no and guys i am located in Ichiulwe. yeah this is where i stay this way uh-huh it's a landing site and the people are this is a toilet for the people that are staying around here and uh, these are the boats that they use for fishing over here i am already at the lake <laughs> huh. guys these are the fish i can't go onto that water over there but people go there and those ones i don't know if i can zoom but i'll show you maybe around there let me see around there 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 those things that you're seeing those are boats they are boats that uh, people have already they are putting them there to do the fishing and then these are boats that are being used for fishing hmm taking you around my village this is so nice guys these are boats that they are using these kids have come here to play from there muri muje muje baliko muri bulunji muchi miyeje mazi they are saying that they have come for water <laughs> Of course, that's a lie. They've come to play. Yes, in Kukubye Chifana. And another one is here. Hi. Oli Otia. Guys, these are the boats that they are using to... That they are using to... To do the fishing. Yeah, go on. Patrick. Oh, no, Patrick. So, guys, he is called Patrick. And Gwe, you go on. Susan. Susan is Sengege. Yeah, her, her name is Susan Sengege. And you? What is your name? Natkunda Daphne Wai Wai. Natkunda Daphne Wai Wai. Angu She has cute names. Her name is Natkunda Daphne Wai Wai. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh no. Now, gift in Nam Sisi. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> hey. Guys, I'm still taking you around my village. You're going to be seeing him. Hey. I'm enjoying. Hello. How are you? Jevali Seb. Hmm. Guys. My village is the best. Oh. We are moving around my village. Guys, you can have this view, this beautiful view of the lake right here. And the water is one million percent guys from this side where i am coming from there of course you have seen there i just want to keep continuing with the video there we go now still on my village my 
beautiful village we have a garden here the garden is called Mirembe Garden Bar and Lounge so it's here let me give you a sneak peek I just guess nobody is inside this is how it looks like Jemale konya eh soda mu mutunda mti wolu kumi Okay, it's okay. I'm just going to come back. Okay. So guys, I was talking about how much the beer is. Oh no, 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 no. The juice, the soda. And they have said they have the one for 1,000, 1,500, and the one for 2,000. However, that is the price of soda everywhere. Mm -hmm. This is my neighborhood over here. and uh, these are people living around here and uh, still people hang their clothes around there like up on the hangers that is how i would just say it Eeh. guys i'm continuing with my video guys that is a shop a local shop whereby for me that is where i always buy my things uh maybe like if i want juice if i want uh i would say glossaries yeah things that we use at home you see that car this is a culture in uganda i don't know if in other countries they're there but you see that car that one it's a dead one like it's it's no longer living it's spoiled but still people keep it uh i don't know for what or maybe because they be see when this one is laying clothes down so you see those clothes up there they are being laid down and guys this is uh, a tomato tomato plantation all of this however there is coffee in it and there is banana in it like obviously banana <laughs> you see this is obvious banana banana like banana everywhere banana banana is too obvious i was talking about this other car about that car i think it is because sometimes some people have those hopes of maybe one day one time it will be under use or something and then it happens time ends up it gets spoiled and that time never comes i think that's why I stood up because I wanted to show you this. The banana, the banana, you know, this one is called Mpumum. Now the banana is still peeling. It's still peeling up. All of this is going to keep peeling until when everything removes and then it remains only this. But also sometimes people eat this. However, I will be, I will be truthful. I have never eaten that flour for the banana. It's because here in central Uganda we don't eat them, but so many people eat them. Now those are banana, those are all tomato. And this one, it is a coffee, coffee tree. Coffee plant, coffee tree, whichever way you may make it. Like uh, a garden is mixture of coffee, tomato, banana, and cassava. Cassava is there. Yeah. Now, I have reached in the center. You see all of this is banana <laughs> like we have banana everywhere it's a banana plantation we have banana everywhere and these are other people staying around my village this is how my village looks like my people are staying in here mm-hmm now here it's a stall uh, where people are selling things uh, they already sell something to eat are there no i think these eggs if these eggs are cooked i'm going to take some these eggs and those are tomatoes 
like basically it is an African stall. Abeno, Java, Amajima Fumbe. Yes, so guys, the eggs are cooked. How much is one? Okay. Uh, okay, for 500, I'm going to be taking one. Mpailing. Hey, the just cooked. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have one. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do it. But it's not going to go on. Okay, I'm going to go on. I'm sorry. Let me go so that you can see me. Yeah, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. So guys, I want to get this. I'm going to be peeling this. Zenya fili musiki yangu. Guys, I'm killing my egg. Hey guys, I um I have thanked him by the way. He has helped me film myself, film me while when I was peeling my egg. Now I want to have a test of the egg that I have just bought. It is here. Let me show you. It is right here. They are railing egg uh, the hens and uh, they do the they do sell the eggs hmm? mm -hmm. that is that town center where i was over there it's a town center here in my village Here we go. Hmm. Guys, people are also fetching water on the top over there. Hmm. Guys, I'm at my village, and this is the egg. I have gotten done with it. I was so hungry. I felt like having one. This is still my village, and that is a village market. This thing has fallen down. That's a market over there. And then, these ones, they are selling the... Another market is there. Here. Like, you know how the African village life is. All of this is my village. And then we have goats that are feeding over here. They're on the roadside. They are feeding. This one. Then they are also selling some fish over there and then this one is a restaurant guys this one here it's a restaurant and here they are selling some pork for the non-muslims that is pork for us 
in our village in here. Ha! Huh. All of these. Hmm. I just love how everything is, how everything is looking like. Now this one here, it's a trading center. It's a town center where everyone is coming because here there is so many shops. As you can see, all of these now, this is a restaurant. Another one is a restaurant. Now that is a shop over there. That one is a restaurant. Here is a stall market for things. Hmm? We have uh, others are uh, shops. Now here it's a shop. They are also selling matoke. As you can see, this one is a hardware. They are selling cement and everything that you're using to to build or to to build inside your home. Now this is a boutique. Hi. Hey, it's a boutique that is selling clothes. Another boutique. And here you can see the border border people whereby they can be taking you along the home, you know. And another boutique is here. Another boutique that is selling clothes. And again, we have this one, it's a depot that is selling drinks a restaurant this one they are selling rolex and uh, this one they are selling it's a stall this one is a stall i would say it's selling groceries and all of that kids coming from school hey now uh, This one, and now this one, it's a, ho uh, a hospital, Chihulwe hospital. Ah. And then this way, there is another landing site. I'm taking you to another landing site. This way, guys, this is a saloon. It plates hair for people. That one. I think I'll also come and plate my hair someday. Now this one is a restaurant that has a stall outside. Ah. Hey, it's a beautiful place, isn't it? It's a beautiful village for us, isn't it? Hmm? It's a very beautiful village for us. Now people are staying here. You do not have to worry about us. I'm just taking you alongside my village. It's not that big by the way. People are staying here. It is some people's house as you can see them. Also here, these ones are shops that are selling different things whereby that wherever you see a curtain like that, just know that's a restaurant and over here. And then this one is selling some drinks for us. Eh? So many people are staying around here. Now, like I was telling you, this is a landing site over here. It's a landing site where people come and uh, where fishermen collect their, their fish and then uh, put them sell them to the market guys. There is also this These are clothes the way you can see how they are laying them some lay them down some lay them like that So the way you are seeing them It's not all the time uh, And it is not because we are wa we are washing It's because we are not washing them with a washing machine However, even those ones that are always washing them with washing machine they always put them under the sun so yeah that is our special way of put uh, uh hanging clothes outside for the for the what 
for the sun to find it now guys this is a landing site over this way it's a big landing site like because we are near the lake there is literally a landing site everywhere <laughs> even in some people's home you will still find a landing site uh -uh. this one it's another little town that made itself out of our village <laughs> and uh, most of the I, I think you have just seen the video i think you have just watched the video most of these 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 houses are kind of like temporary they are just being built there for the purpose of uh just staying around like just to stay around you know with good people another landing site over here Guys, another landing site over here. And this one is bigger than the, those ones that we have seen. It goes up to the other side, as you can see. It has beautiful water. Mm -hmm. The water is so nice and it goes up to there now this is a boat this is a boat and this is how the boats look like the ones that they use for fishing and that's an engine you might ask yourself this one is an engine that helps it walking walk around this one let me see if i can zoom it for you that one this is how the engine looks like and if you look closely every boat has one but it is removable whereby people remove it people remove them and it still has uh, I don't know how this thing is called this one it's it's being used to do the water like this please guys and then how how is the Ankasi being called in English is it uh, that one this one is the one that i'm talking about <laughs> i don't know how it is being called but yay guys you my village my people my village i'm at my village first see it's a beautiful it's beautiful it's beautiful it's beautiful in here you see yeah hmm. Let me see if I can give you a wider range. Yeah! Of how my village looks like! Guys, I have enjoyed some water here. Yeah, but my legs are dirty. I have enjoyed some water, but my legs have become so dirty. Anyway, it's okay. I'm still taking you. I am still taking you around my village. Ooh, showing you how people live in my village hmm. hey, by the way guys this place is full of fishermen I think that's the only thing I can say it's full of fishermen people come here specifically to fish and uh, 
and nothing. I think that's why they are always uh, building temporary houses. Yes, it's because they come and do the fishing and they're expecting to go. Here, this one is a mechanic. He does those engines. He's mechanizing the engines over here. So many restaurants in here. And I think this way there is a lot of music, so I'm not going to be able to go deeper. But all I can say is, people stay so much around this way. Ish. But anyway, guys, I have uh, I've taken you around my home, my beautiful place. It's noisy as you can see, but still, people do some fishing over this way. But anyway, I think I'm going to, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to go into where people are living. guys I have just gotten myself some juice yeah anyway guys all I can say is that see you again in the next video I love you all you have just watched my village a video of my village I've just been taking you around they are not they are actually with let's just deal with the fact that these people are not camilla friendly I would just say it like that even if they are your friends and they see that you're holding a camera I don't know how they see it I don't know if um I don't know I don't know how to explain but all I would say is that they are not camera friendly so they are lovely people if you meet them in person but they are just not camera friendly people but anyway regardless we enjoy our stay <laughs> see you again in the next video I love you so much guys Mwah. bye bye